rolling right sound. Track. Mark? Never really done a one-on-one -on -one interview oh. before. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Yeah. Um. Do you want me to ask you a question? Maybe, or wait, let's bring Kaylee in here. That might help. Yeah, that could help. Oh, Gareth. <laughs> Just want to tell hey, Kaylee. <laughs> You look awesome. Thanks, you too. Thanks. I like pink lipstick. I like yours. It's good. Where's your pink lipstick, Gareth? I changed my mind, actually. You can go. Meet Gareth Williams. He lives in Winnipeg with his cat. He's friends with musicians. Sometimes he talks to his friends. This is Coming in Sharp with Gareth Williams. I'm here with French Press, Chantel. Hey, how's it going? So as a songwriter myself, I'm pretty like fascinated with process mm -hmm. of other songwriters um, and I know you did this song of the week thing yeah. do you want to talk about that like did you write a song a week give yourself a deadline yeah I did give myself a deadline I was trying to basically I was in my room and I wanted to play shows outside my room so I realized I needed songs to do that so I wanted to just speed up the process so yeah I basically I worked from like Monday to Sunday for the, probably the first five weeks and just kind of like by Sunday, whatever, whatever happened, whatever I had was what I had kind of thing. And then, uh, yeah, then I made some, like, yeah, then I made some videos <laughs> with those songs. How did you write songs before? Like, just... I didn't, well, it took, they took me a lot longer. I like, I kind of felt like I needed a deadline because, you know, you would just go, like, you, you just keep changing it. And I just wanted to just like kind of try to accept what I had, it was kind of like building a layer of acceptance, like as a writer. Mm. And so you're I happy just, like, with. I wanted to just kind of leave it alone. Cause, and just, yeah, leave it alone. Otherwise, I would never leave it alone. So I kind of had to decide to do that. Awesome. <laughs> this is like the most legit question and answer that's ever happened on this show. Pray you'll flow I, I read your, um, your bio, which is research I guess they call that that's a new I'm new to this yeah um, and you were in Thailand in Morocco yeah you want to talk about what you were doing there sure I was just singing some Alicia Keys Beyonce the first place in Thailand I was like singing at a hard rock cafe so it was just like a lot of German and Russian people wearing like white jeans and red hair having dyed red dyed red hair um, and then in Morocco it was all locals and a few prostitutes, a few rich old guys, and some young people with lots of gel in their hair and button up like white shirts with like alligator shoes and stuff. It's a very thorough and specific answer. It's not bad. Has that helped you with your performances now, that time? Yeah, kinda. Same songs every night is kinda hard to do. It's kinda like, gets pretty boring pretty fast. So drinking helps a bit. What Beyonce song did you do? Oh, Crazy in Love. <laughs> I think I got a new idea. Shakira, too. Shakira. Uh, I guess I did what, whenever, what, whatever, whenever, whatever that one's called. <laughs> 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 and uh, Hips Don't Lie. And then in Morocco, they do like, you have this like dancing thing, and then like halfway through, sh like, you know, just like this hip, I don't know. Arab world hip shaky thing that they do and in the middle of the show they'd get like some girls from the audience they'd come and like shake shake their shit your lyrics um, are quite angst ridden some of them you find like the songwriting process is like a purging process of all this stuff and then you can like be happier in your day to day life yeah like before I've kind of thought of it as like taking a shitty situation and then just making like a head boppy kind of good time out of it. So it's like it's shitty but what can make what can fix shittiness is like a good song. You know, just something to put on and just makes it feel good. So it's like putting shittiness in like a head boppy vessel. <laughs> I have a four-year-old nephew who lives in Red Hill, England, and he is a, a strange, philosophical, 
little kid, and I told him I was interviewing a musician. Yeah. And so these can are I some of the. Can I shout out? You can. His name's Gabriel, but here's just some of the questions. Uh, I thought I was gonna do a shout out. Do you want? Do you want to do a shout out? Kinda. Hey Gabriel, it's French Press. How's it going? Have a good day, bud. Awesome. Because his first question was, can they come over and sing Paradise by Coldplay? That's his favorite song for whatever reason. How does that one go again? Para, para, paradise. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's not their best. These aren't really to do with music or reality. Okay. Um, he asked, if stars were alive, would they have to be fish? Starfish, I guess? Starfish. This one's an easier one. It's more of a yes or no. Wait, I forgot. I sh I'm going to do this one as he would in his weird little four-year-old London accent. If a raindrop falls on your head, will it make you sneeze? Yeah. Yeah, every time. My only other question is about bangs, and you still have bangs, so that's good. Um, and musicians with bangs, and who's your favorite? Hmm. Because there's a lot of good ones. Ooh, I think um, Julie Duaron. Nick likes that answer. Her second last album is just really like rocky and amazing. She's and she has three kids. How do you how do you do that now? My favorite is Bat for Lashes. Oh, yeah? She's kind of ruining my life because her album's so good, I can't even listen to other music. Really? It's like, this, what, this isn't Bat for Lashes. Why am I listening to this? I just turn it off. Yeah. Okay, the best cup of coffee in Winnipeg. Uh, Nescafe Instant Hazelnut from my kitchen with soy milk. So cheap. It's pennies a glass. <laughs> Penny's a mug. You ask her. <clears throat> Have you ever actually used a French press? I've seen people use them, but that's about as far as it's gotten. Do you think that there's a misconception that maybe you're a coffee snob because your artist name or your stage name is French press? Well, I don't I honestly, I don't, I don't love the coffee reference, but it's like too bad, so sad. I did it to myself. Um, it, for me, it was more of like a French. I liked French, the French part. Um, coffee snob. I like coffee. Yeah. Once I had to stop drinking it for a bit, and I thought I wouldn't survive, but then I did. So it's like you can you can get off it, but you can also just stay on it. You can hit it, or you can quit it. it or you can quit it. This is French press with. Back on the mattress.
much more You would be his girl today If he could help you liberate You want it right now Put you back on the mattress Gotta mend that broken heart Put you back on the mattress You want it right now Put you back on the mattress Gotta mend that broken heart Put you back on the mattress You want it right now And you want it like this Gotta mend that broken heart Get you back on the mattress You want it right now You want it like this Gotta mend that broken heart Get you back on the mattress You want it right now Talking in the mic, loving it.